Hey there, just wanted to kind of give you a quick little rundown of um, some of the Business Plus accounts here. So um, once you're logged into Business Plus, and I wish I could kind of click through, but apparently um, if we are off of district Wi-Fi, um, we can't access this anymore. I, I think that's been the case for a long time, but I kind of felt like they had that resolved, but maybe I'm making that up. So I happen to have this pulled up from earlier today when I was on district Wi-Fi. So um, I'm just gonna leave this page here. I'm not gonna click on anything or else it will take me out of this. So um, if, you, if we need more help here, I'll just come up to um, Rising Hill tomorrow or something like that and um, I can meet with you or I can, we can, I can go through this again um, once I'm actually on Wi-Fi and can click around. So this is my personal dashboard. Um, so once you are on your personal dashboard, I'm just going to assume that yours looks somewhat like mine as far as um, having a dashboard and having accounts that you're looking at here. I know yours is probably going to look way different because I believe that you can see your whole building's accounts. So you can see like your art teachers accounts, music teachers, anybody that has to pay for stuff or fundraise or anything like that. Um, I think you'll be able to see all those. Um, whereas mine, these are just different reports for my two accounts that I have. So um, the, the account that we are looking for is our activity account. Um, so for me, it's right down here, um, General Ledger 2026 or General Ledger 2027, either one of those should work just fine. Um, so once you have located the activity account summary or detail, go ahead and click on one of those. And on the next screen, um, it's going to want to know like what time frame, what dates you're looking for. It really doesn't matter. You could select this month or last month. It doesn't matter. Um, so once you kind of just select the months, you don't have to worry about the rest of it and just click OK or submit, whatever it says there. Um, once that report generates, at the top left, you will see kind of an account number that starts with A and then your school code. At Eastgate, my school code is 310, so it always starts with A310, and then it should have some more numbers after that. Um, I can't, I don't believe you will see the, the other four digit code that Stacy was talking about. The code that she's talking about, it's for, one is for supplies and the other is for books. And I always get the two codes confused, whether it's 6411 or 6114. Uh, I always just kind of get them mixed up. So I'll go back and kind of look through um, because it, it's the same for all of us, for all schools, that, that one four digit code she needs. So I'll just go back and look that up in my, um, in my notes on my invoices from Eastgate and I'll provide that four digit code for her. Um, but if you can locate that activity account number, your A3 number, um, that um, is the main thing that she needs to proceed. Um, so I apologize if yours looks different or if you're unable to locate that number um, or this account, this activity account, just let me know. And like I said, once I can get on district Wi-Fi, I can like do it real quick. It literally, and this whole thing really only takes two seconds once we have these numbers. Um, so it'll take Stacy two seconds to input the check request. It's really no big deal. Um, so sorry to kind of throw this out at you, <laughs> like first day. Um, it's a really simple thing, and typically we have all this completely and totally taken care of. So um, sorry about that. Um, let me know if you need any more assistance. And like I said, I have no problem at all. I live really close to Rising Hill. I don't mind coming up there and just hopping on the Wi-Fi and kind of knocking some of this out. Thanks, and have a great day. Bye.